Hi friends. The holidays are right around the corner. And that likely means that so are family gatherings with extended family and maybe friends who are like family, perhaps with people that you only see once or twice a year. It's good to be together, but it can also be stressful, especially when there are unresolved conflicts or hurts or differences of opinion or belief, or even just personalities that clash. And so I thought we'd spend a day or two thinking about how to deal with difficult relatives. By the way, for my relatives who are watching, all of the characters and situations in these messages are fictional. <laughs> Any resemblance to real life experience is purely coincidental. The truth is, a lot of people have someone in their family who is difficult to deal with. It might be as serious as abuse or neglect, or it might simply be something annoying like talking too much or not showering enough. Listen to the way that these people describe their difficult relatives. A parasite on my neck. My brother never works and always expects us to provide. A cactus wearing a silk shirt. It's my mother. She looks nice. Everyone thinks she's the greatest, but get close to her and she is prickly, dry, and thirsty for life. A marble column. My aunt is dignified and noble and also high and hard. So for you, maybe it's a cousin who's at the opposite end of the political spectrum or an uncle who slurps his soup. <laughs> maybe it's an adult child who can't keep a job or an adult grandchild who has settled way too fast and way too seriously on a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Maybe it's someone who is constantly bragging about their success or constantly criticizing your choices. Whatever it is that makes relatives difficult, perhaps the most difficult thing about them is that you're stuck with them. <laughs> you can choose your friends, but you can't choose your family. Unlike annoying neighbors or coworkers from whom you could get away if you really wanted or needed to, annoying family members are yours for life. <laughs> Thanksgiving, Christmas, family reunions, weddings, funerals, they'll be there. And you will be there trying to sort out some difficult questions like, how is it possible that we're even related in the first place? <laughs> Seriously, if we expect anyone to be sensitive to our needs, we expect our family to be. When we hurt physically, we want our family to respond. When we struggle emotionally, we want our family to care. But sometimes they don't respond, at least in the way that we want them to. Sometimes it seems like they don't care. And sometimes it even feels like they're actively working against us. So the question is, how do we deal with difficult family situations? Does Jesus have anything to say about dealing with difficult relatives? Is there an example of Jesus bringing peace to a conflicted family? Well, yes, there is. And believe it or not, it's his own family. We'll talk more about that tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in today. I'll see you again soon.